we need to address what happened on the lawn yesterday. Quite an event took place. The NDP had at least two members at a protest, the member from Davenport and the member from Windsor West. At the same time, mass protesters brought a bloodied guillotine to the grounds of Queen's Park. And you know what they did? They beheaded an effigy of the Premier. This is disgusting, and it is a sick act that has been condoned Order. by the opposition. I am asking the members opposite to condemn yesterday's protest, apologize for their attendance at yesterday's event, but it's important to know that this is the real NDP, and we have seen it on the attacks against the Minister of Labour's office, Response. the accosting and attacking of me, resulting in OPP protection for members of our cabinet. They care more about activism and protesting than respect for that is not peaceful protests. Uh, that is a credible threat that we have referred to the Ontario Provincial Police. We are asking the uh, New Democratic Party of Ontario uh, not only to condemn that practice, but also for the members that uh, attended that uh, protest yesterday to apologize uh, to the legislature as well as directly to the Premier. Let me be perfectly clear. We are here to fight for everyday hardworking Ontarians, regardless of what their political stripe is. The protests that occurred here at Queen's Park yesterday with a guillotine that, uh, that chopped the head off of an effigy of the Premier of Ontario does not reflect this province, regardless of people's political and partisan affiliations. It was disrespectful, uh, it was cruel, and it's a credible threat that has been referred to the Ontario Provincial Police. Minister, the NDP the did not acknowledge it uh, when you brought it up in the Legislature, Minister. What do you make of that? Uh, the New Democrats have an opportunity uh, today, uh, right after I scrum, to, uh, to, to publicly condemn what they condoned yesterday and to call for a better and more civilized debate in the province. I, can, I, want to, I just want to be very clear. We have seen an attack on the Minister of Labour's office, which, was, uh, which, which happened before Christmas. Uh, we have seen, uh, I've had uh, in, my, uh, in, in my work, uh, New Democratic M MPPs um, disrupt my, my media availabilities uh, to the point I've actually had to have police protection. This is not the way the Ontario legislature operates, and I want to assure Ontarians that. I have had, this is my fifth mandate, and I have not seen uh, the type of, uh, of egregious activity as I saw yesterday and what I've been seeing uh, with the disrespect by, it's, by those members. Like we don't condone that type of behaviour. Um, we understand that people have the right to protest and voice their concerns, but uh, inappropriate like behaviour like that we don't support. Was the why NDP was involved? Why wasn't, why wasn't that not addressed in the House when, on the first opportunity? It could have easily been said, obviously, we don't condone it, we condemn it. Why didn't that happen in the House and will that happen? Well, I think that we are stating that we don't support that type of behaviour. We've been pretty clear that we support uh, Ontarians' rights to come out here and uh, voice their concerns. Um, but uh, inappropriate behaviour like that, again, we aren't supporting that and, and we're being very clear about that. The government also wants you to apologize for attending the protest. Will you apologize on behalf of your party? Look, we were uh, there, uh, in, not in an official capacity. We were out there uh, speaking to people who have a right to be here and voice their concerns. Uh, I don't think that there's anything for us to apologize about connecting with constituents here at Queen's Park. But if you're out there and you see a bloody guillotine, are, are you uncomfortable with that? Do you think it would be appropriate to leave or say perhaps this is offside to the protesters? Um, again, I think, you know, uh, we've said that that is inappropriate. Uh, at, at the same time, we have a right to be out there and people have a right to be out there. And uh, again, we've stated uh, very clearly that uh, that in itself was inappropriate, uh, uh, you know, and uh, we won't support that type of behaviour here at Queen's Park. Do you think those people should be charged? I mean, this matter has been referred to the RCMP now. Do you think that's a criminal, potential criminal act? Well, I think it's up to the RCMP and the OPP whether they'd like to investigate and uh, move forward with criminal charges. It really isn't up to me to decide. Would you find it threatening? Uh, you know, I wasn't actually out there at the protest. No, but if, if somebody did that against the NDP, maybe with your name on it, would you find that threatening? Well, I think uh, that type of behaviour in general, regardless of who it's directed at, is inappropriate, and we've stated that, and again, I think that needs to be the bottom line, is that that type of behaviour is inappropriate, regardless of who it is directed at. Will there be a, a comment like this in the House, in, on the record? Uh, I can't say officially or uh, unofficially at this point, but as I said today, uh, we have said that that uh, uh, behavior is inappropriate and it's not something that our party supports. But did you drop the ball because you, you didn't respond in the legislature in the moment when you were asked to by Lisa McLeod? You, 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 your party ignored it. You, you didn't respond in any way. You didn't even acknowledge it. Did you drop the ball here? No, I don't think that we dropped the ball. I think that uh, you know we were asking very specific questions to the Premier um, and the uh, Minister of Community and Social Services um, brought this to the floor. I think that, again, we were uh, continuing with our line of questioning, which was appropriate for us to do in that time and space.